Hi. Thank you for coming back, for staying with me on my journey. Um, I've not been recording or doing any postings or anything for quite a while. Uh, I apologize. I've been in hospital for oh, just short of a week. I had major surgery. I had a gastric sleeve done, which to some people it's quite common apparently now. To me, it was very important, very um, to help me progress on with my other illnesses. I have an aortic aneurysm that is 4.3 centimeters, which is, yeah, over in England, I don't know anywhere else, but in England, once it reaches five centimeters, then you refer it on. Um, so what weight I was gaining because of my other illnesses, I had to lose. I had to lose to get the pressure off of the aneurysm and help also to help get some of the weight off my joints because I have arthritis in my knees and everything else plus the ME, chronic fatigue. Um, I mean, when I say chronic, it's chronic. It's so bad. Um, and I have fibromyalgia. So, the surgery was on the 6th of June. Obviously, I survived. I'm here. <laughs> um, I'm now... I was in hospital nearly a week because of the ME and everything. My temperature kept spiking to 40. And my oxygen levels were not good. Um... So I had a lovely little breathing machine. I don't know where I've put it. I have to practice all the time. Make sure you breathe from your diaphragm up, like they taught us when we learned band. And I used to play the flute. I should know better. But when it hurts, to say it hurt, was there pain? No, it was muscle. It was more muscle pain because they punched, you know, they cut through your stomach muscle. So, yeah, it was more muscle. Do I think I'd ever want a stomach, you know, um, a thingy? Get rid of my stomach. What's, what's the word? Kim's like, oh, gone. Um, yeah. Because... I know that the muscle, the pain from what I've been going through with that is exactly what I've seen people that have had tummy tucks. That's it, tummy tucks. Um, I knew I'd get it. <laughs> um, so you just kind of try and keep yourself straight. Anyway, I'm waffling. So they kept me in for a further five days because they were concerned in case there was a leak. Um, I don't know if anybody understands with gastric sleeve, they take roughly 80% of your stomach away, um, which doesn't really bother. I mean, I'm not... Yeah, I sat there because I left hospital and I went to my partner Craig's for over a week because of circumstances. We have three Rottweilers, as everybody that knows me knows. <laughs> Kim can't afford to get bumped by one of them when I've just come out of hospital. So my son was looking after the dogs. Um, and unfortunately I couldn't get to see my son because he had to go into isolation for 10 days because his stepsister got COVID. It's not been an easy ride. So... Yeah, I could see, I get to see Jamie through the car window. Like, hi, you know. Um, my arms, they're not so bad now. I was black and blue. You know, I, I scar really easy. Stay, they, they stitched the main thing into that vein. 
um, but I think this the one scar there that's a shadow I think that's going to stay with me apparently they had me on intravenous antibiotics now I'm allergic to penicillin so they had me on clorithromycin and I think it back flushed into my arm so my arm just swelled and I think it's just going to leave a scar I'm not not surprised I scar very easily so I actually came home just home away from try and get some kind of normality again yesterday and you know I take full credit well I give full credit I'm sorry I give full credit my hats off to Jamie he kept this house spotless he really did he um he did a good job frustrating but it's done and it's now down to me um, up to now I've lost over 11 nearly 12 kilograms um, do I need to lose a lot of weight yeah I do I'm only five foot I'm you know um, I'm only five foot I'm only a short arse and instead of rolling me down the street I'd like to walk down the street <laughs> Um, so we'll get there, we'll get there, and that's where I've been, um, I do have quite a lot of unboxings to do, I still have two from Treasure Studios, um, Lizzie Falcons, oh, she's amazing, then I also have, I think it's one more from FG Normal, um, I think there's about eight or nine in that one, and then I have four, the four from Diamond Art Club that my partner got me for my birthday, which are Randall Spanglers, Ronald Spanglers. Um, I love those cute little dragons. <laughs> but at the moment, what am I doing? I'm, I don't know if you can see, I'm actually doing those nosy bloody ostriches. Can you see? Look at that face. Gorgeous. So, and I'm having my lunch, clear soup. Um, my orange juice. Cheers. And my water. Um, rule of thumb, I actually, by staying in hospital, I think actually was the best thing. And I will say that to them. It taught me really. It made my clear minded, more clear minded as to what I could and could not have, what I could and could not do um, with regards to my diet. So for three weeks, rule of thumb apparently is if it's liquid and you use a fork and it goes through your fork, you can have it. It's liquid. So, you know, it was really hot. It was warm while I was in the hospital. Um, and they came around one day with an ice lollies. Ice cream, twist ice creams. And I turned around and said, I can't have this. And she shouted, can Kim have one of these? Yeah, it's liquid. Which technically it is. Just don't bite it. You know, lick it, suck it. And by the time it gets down, it's liquid. So watch your calorie intake, obviously. Um, so then it's the added milk powder, the Marvel milk powder in with your milk. So I can have a, a creamy latte type thing. now. This is where the fun starts because I haven't had coffee. When did I last have coffee? Over 10 years ago. Easy. So, yeah, I tried this at Cranks. <laughs> so, a glass of coffee, or a normal cup of coffee. Put the milk in. Put two heaped spoons of this powdered marvel. Mix it up. Warm it up in the microwave. And then... 
mix it up again, make sure it's all mixed up, put my coffee in, put one level teaspoon of, you know, one level spoon of sugar. Wow. Loved it. Loved it. So, you know, and that's my protein. That the added milk, the added powdered milk is your protein. It gives you that extra protein that you need. Um, just, yeah, watching everything. I, I can't tell you when I last had carbs. Um, got to be three weeks ago, easy. No, I've got liquid until Sunday this week. Which will be the twenty seventh. I think. Not oh, well. I don't know. Anyway, then I start three weeks of pureed food. That's going to be interesting. Um. There's no point in cheating. And. Like some people, they're like, oh, yeah, I can puree this or I can puree, and I can have it. Why why have the surgery then? Why have it? You're only fooling yourself, and you're not helping yourself mentally, physically. So, I mean, I had to do it. I had to have this surgery. I know I was joking with the surgeon. Mm -hmm. And he was explaining to me uh, what they're going to do and everything else. And I'm trying not to take notice of the drawing that he's making. And um, I just turned around and said, right. He says, have you any questions? And it's kind of like, right, well, you know, it's a case of if I don't go down to theater. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Doctors. Checking on my medications and everything. So, but that's where I'm up to. I thought I'd just let everybody know I am here. And I'm getting there. Getting there. So hopefully the next videos that I post up will start to be unboxings <laughs> but in the meantime it's just me and the three dogs and peace and quiet peace and quiet yeah I had fun in the hospital though I will say that I did have fun the um, doctors doing the rounds and I'd just sit there and say, okay, so same time, same place. But, yeah. I was never, I've never have been and never will be one of those patients that cause the problems for people. Um, I like to cause, I like to make people laugh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've always said it. If I can make one person, one person smile a day. I've done my job. So, yeah, I know. I do remember after the surgery in recovery, I remember the nurses asking me, did I want them to phone Craig? And I said, yes, please, let him know I'm fine. And they're talking to Craig, and I shouted, tell him he still owes me that boob job now. <laughs> so, yeah. We laugh. That's my humor, people. Um, I'll still, I'll let you know as I progress how I'm doing. Um, but this channel, it depends. If people want to know more, if you want to know more about how I'm progressing with this and how it's affecting me um, up to now, no, I've never had a day where I've been sick. Um, because I don't push my stomach. Um, I am lucky, apparently. Some people are very sick after. They, they just can't. Um, 
soon. My goal, my goal is to take my dogs for walks again. And I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll start showing you videos of me walking down the street or along a canal or something with one of my dogs. My son can have the other two. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Until then, look after yourselves. Everybody stay safe. And we shall see each other in the next video. Till then. Love you. Bye bye.